Hey guys, Tommy D here. Was just out for a little bit and uh, stopped by my local pawn shop, Dixie Pawn. And, uh, you know, their prices aren't too good on a lot of their stuff. But movies, they're fairly good on. I usually stop there once a month, so I'm going to show you my new pickups for my new horror, for my horror collection. And if you want any reviews or recommendations on these movies, just uh, drop me a link or drop me a message. I'm over on Facebook as Tommy Henson. Uh, first off, I picked off uh, The Hills Have Eyes 1 and 2. These are the remakes, not the original 1970 ver 1970s versions. Uh, I've seen both of them before. If you like uh, survival horror, I think you'll like these. Especially number two. It's pretty good. But these are the unrated versions. Pretty gory. Now, this is one I have not seen. Alone in the Dark. Get that glare off there. And there's the back. But, uh... <coughs> After I do, after I watch all these, I'll give you some reviews on them. Twenty-eight weeks later, I have seen Twenty-eight Days Later, and uh, I watched this uh, over the internet, and it wasn't very good quality, very hard to make out. So now that I've got me a better version, I'm going to watch it, maybe do a review on it. Uh, a great move a great movie here with Nicole Kidman the others if you're into ghost flicks and uh, m good mind mind fucks this is a good movie especially if you're into ghost and sus suspense it doesn't have any gore or foulness so it's a real thing you can watch with uh, someone who doesn't like that stuff. And the next one is Screen 2. Uh, I don't like the later issues of the Scream, uh, but Scream 1 and 2 were pretty good from where I stood. Okay, next is one I haven't seen. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre The Beginning. This was a prequel that came out a, a while back. Let's see, when did this come out? Hmm. I don't say here. But it came out a little while back. But this is the unrated version, so I'm betting there's going to be some gore. And uh, another one is Chernobyl Diaries. If you hadn't seen this one, it's shot mostly in uh, in found footage ver in found footage ways, like the Blair Witch. But uh, it's very nice. I like it. It's one. Uh, it's a pretty good scare movie. B nice tension. Okay, here's one that's fairly recent. That's more of an action than a horror. And it's priest. Futuristic in a post apocalyptic world ruled by uh, where vampires and humans have a truce, the priests are what fight the vampires. And the last one, another vampire movie, John Carpenter's Vampires with uh, James Woods. Not really a big fan of James Woods, per se, but I gotta say, I really liked him in this. I love John Carpenter's movies. This is vampires, people. They don't sparkle. They don't wear eyeliner. They bite the hell out of you. Very good flick if you like vampires. Those I just picked up, uh, they got great deals. I mean, you can pick up Ten movies for twelve bucks. So I usually take a, a couple bucks and I go there and I pick out a few movies. I probably should have got a few more. But anyway, guys, if you want some reviews or some recommendations, 
maybe you saw a movie you liked and you'd want to know something that's like it you'd want to research that gen genre a little throw me a throw me a message I'll do a little research and get back to you with some recommendations or reviews take care guys and bye bye